Blue here just got handed the 2016 Knowles football schedule. Let's take a look at it. Old Miss to open up in Orlando. Going to be a very difficult game. Chad Kelly returns. Knowles traditionally over the years struggle early. Huh, not an easy layup there. Could really be out of the gate. Uh, an opportunity to lose that game. We'll see how they come out and play. Then home with Charlie South. Go to Louisville in week three. They return 19 starters this year. Bobby Petrino got off to a bad start last year. They lost three early games. Came back and played some pretty good football. Go to Tampa to play South Florida in week four. So three of the first four on the road. Here comes UNC, that explosive offense. They really set the ACC on fire this past year. So that makes three out of the first five games uh, fairly difficult overall for Florida State. Then they go to Miami. That is October 8th. Always a difficult ball game. Mark Rick now takes over that program. That should be interesting. Home with Wake and then a bye week at the perfect time. It's midway through the season and it'll give Florida State the extra week to prepare for Clemson at home. There hasn't been a lot of times as of late where the Knowles have gotten the luxury of an extra week before a big opponent. They do this year. That'll be followed up by the ultimate trap game. That's NC State a week later. Yet again, year two of a Friday night football game. This year it will be Boston College in Tallahassee. A trip to the Courier Dome a week later. Then they wrap up the year on November 26th against the Florida Gators. Overall, difficult early on. Midway through, a nice bye before the Clemson game. Then some fairly difficult games late in the season, including the Florida Gators. Two real difficult non-conference opponents in both Ole Miss and Florida. The ACC got better this year. It's going to be a real interesting schedule for Florida State, where I believe it's a national championship or bust type of season.